ever thought about how you're going to die? It can be scary to think about, but the reality is that it's something that every single one of us will do. Have you ever wondered why so many people die in their sleep? Nearly one out of every eight people die in their sleep. Now, since we spend about one third of our lives sleeping, maybe this doesn't sound too surprising. Still, it certainly seems to be more common than not. So why and how does this happen? What are the causes that may increase the chances of death during sleep? Let's see what scientists have to say on the matter. One common idea is that a person may die during sleep due to sudden arrhythmia death syndrome, or SADS, which is a genetic heart condition that causes sudden death among young adults and healthy people. Arrhythmia is a term used to describe an irregular heartbeat, where the heart is unable to maintain a proper blood supply. This can result in sudden cardiac arrest, which can lead to death very quickly. In fact, the most common life-threatening arrhythmia is ventricular fibrillation. With this type of arrhythmia, your heart gets short-circuited, leaving it without an effective heartbeat. Blood stops flowing around the body and your brain becomes deprived of oxygen, leaving you unconscious and eventually brain dead within a few minutes. Sudden Unexplained Nocturnal Death Syndrome, or SUNS, is when a healthy individual dies during sleep with no previous medical history. Now, as to what exactly triggers this, scientists still aren't sure, but some experts believe that arrhythmia may be the cause. Sudden Infant Death Syndrome, or SIDS, also known as Crib Death or Cot Death, is an unexplainable cause of infant death during sleep. While its exact cause is still unknown, it's possible that this could be linked to the same causes of death during sleep in adults and elderly people. Another reason why some people die in their sleep may be that they simply just stop breathing. I know that sounds weird, after all, it's usually the other way around. But some people suffer from disorders such as obstructive sleep apnea and central sleep apnea. Both of these conditions cause the sufferer's breathing to stop and start repeatedly during sleep. While obstructive sleep apnea is caused due to an obstruction that blocks the airways, making it impossible for the victim to breathe, central sleep apnea occurs due to loss of cells in the area of the brain that controls breathing. Because of this, the brain doesn't send the proper electrical signals to the muscles that control breathing. Loss of breathing causes a drop in blood oxygen levels, which can lead to oxygen deprivation. Sleep apnea can kill a person if the brain is not able to rouse the body quickly enough to take a breath. Sleep apnea can cause abnormal heart rhythms, which lead to sudden cardiac death. In such cases, death may occur before the victim even has a chance to wake up. People may die in their sleep due to a massive stroke or ruptured aneurysm. An aneurysm is basically a weak spot in the wall of a blood vessel in the brain which can rupture due to increased pressure. Now, how does this kill? Well, due to the rupture, blood flow to that part of the brain is blocked, which cuts off oxygen. It only takes a few minutes of oxygen deprivation for brain cells to start dying, which can cause irreversible damage and even death during sleep. In fact, nearly one out of seven strokes occurs during sleep. I know all of this may sound sort of ominous, but try not to get too stressed out about it. Death can be overwhelming to think about sometimes, but like I said earlier, it's something that we all experience and it's inevitable, so really it's not worth losing any sleep over. <laughs>